Funny story, there was a website hosted by someone under the online handle of Yellow Monster Collectibles. It's no longer active, but some of its pages were archived, including one dedicated to the Animorphs Transformers line. The page has a list of toys that were scheduled, or at least rumoured for release in 2000, and if you read carefully, you can see the four that more than likely became the Beast Wars mutants. For example, the site implies that the figure reworked as Poison Bite here started life as Tobias. Yet as stated by TF Wiki, the concept sketches from the Transformers Generations 2017 book suggest this was meant to be Rachel. TFRaw.com has these sketches scanned on their site, link in the description. Anyways, Poison Bite's first beast mode, the one he was packed in at the time, is possibly the most vibrant barracuda you'll ever see. Taken by itself, I like the deco. Red, metallic blue paint used on the face and lobes, the teeth are picked out in white, and lastly, the black and orangish yellow are posomatic stripes, befitting a being with poison in their name. However, while you could argue that these colours fit thematically, in how barracudas aren't exactly safe to be around, they aren't what you might call realistic. I mean, various species might have colour on them, but nothing like this. The closest I could find was the red-tailed freshwater barracuda, but hey, I guess they had to make him stand out on the shelf somehow. At the very least, red fish do exist, so I have an easier time buying this compared to, well, another mutant, but in time. Form-wise, I'd say this is Poison Bite's stronger mode. He's appropriately elongated for starters. You have lots of little scales and bumps moulded on him. His teeth are well defined. The lower jaw extends past the upper, which I think is accurate to most, if not all, species. Even one of his dorsal fins is shaped pretty close. It's not perfect. The pectoral fins are debatably oversized. His other mode sternum is apparent, and that tail clearly splits into something. Also, Poison Bite's articulation is understandably limited. The hinges within the tail provide vertical motion. The lower jaw is also hinged, and the pectoral fins are ball jointed. Like the original Cybershark, you'll be using them to prop him more times than not. Though given the part they play in the transformation, it results in... And who can blame him, when the transformation practically involves filleting the fish? For real though, Poison Bite's second beast mode is a scorpion. I joked about it just now, but opening him up the way you do, plus deploying the head and tail from below, results in a frankly insubstantial body, with vein and possibly exoskeleton-like details moulded on the underside. That's not to say there are no clever conversions going on here. The way some of the fins form the scorpion legs, including the tail halves splitting and swinging forward, that's pretty neat. Also, the pectoral fins cover the fish face as it splits into the scorpion's claws, with teeth. Deco-wise, not much has changed. You have more of those same markings on the stinger. More to the point, the colours arguably make more sense here, as there is an actual, albeit not as vibrant species, known as the Indian Red Scorpion. And again, Scorpion, deadly. So it works either way. Poison Bite is more articulated here. Excluding the hinged claws, the corresponding limbs have four joints each. Three ball and sockets, plus a hinged swivel. His head is clearly on a transformation-only hinge. The ball joints for the front two pairs of legs stem from a sideways hinge. The rear two pairs are fused to a single ball joint each side. Finally, the sternum and tail combined are made up of three hinges. Because of how he transforms, Poison Bite's tail pales in comparison to Scorponox and Quickstrikes, the latter of whom is actually a smaller size class. But it has a trick of its own. Pushing the stinger in opens a panel revealing his former robot mode head, slightly less disturbing than a human head. Letting go springs everything back in place. The chromed disc with the mutant symbol is fixed to a panel on his right pincer, which itself opens up, exposing hydraulics and other robotic details. Overall, Poison Bite is an enjoyable figure, probably my second favourite mutant after Icebird. You know, outside of some weird proportions and features of the Scorpion mode. 
And if you're after realism, the Barracuda's colours might raise some eyebrows. I've said it before that while the mutants aren't the best Beast Wars toys, they're among the most interesting. There's some fiction backing them, but I feel like they could have been explored just a little more, like how they might have looked pre-mutation. <sighs> well, a guy can dream, can't he?